Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu, you know me for a lot of automation with um, UiPath. Today we'll talk about 10 ways how to use uh, uh, ChatGPT inside of UiPath robots. So you have 10 ways to use ChatGPT inside of UiPath robots, and we'll talk all about those, all these um, uh, 10 ways, so we'll um, uh, give example step by step. So the idea is like this, we use ChatGPT inside of robots to make decisions or create data, yeah? If you want for, um, um, for the developers, for the developers, you have this video, yeah, how to use it for the developer. But now we'll, we'll conclude the, how to use it for the robots. So here you have on the late, last, last eight emails, uh, eight um, videos, you have um, a lot of examples with ChatGPT. You have this video with ChatGPT, how to work via API. So everything is explained here. I will not explain, this will not be a technical video to explain this stuff. We'll just explain use cases, yeah? So let's talk about use cases and approaches. So. First case, ChatGPT can create templates of emails, yeah? So let's understand what um, um, you have here, a full example, but let's understand a little what is happened. So basically, you will have an, um, you will go and ask ChatGPT, and uh, here I have a history with, uh, with all the stuff to be, uh, to be easy. No, not with the translate, we'll, we'll, we'll go with, uh, with this one. With, uh, so basically, you will ask ChatGPT, give me an um, email template for a legal notice for collection, yeah? And ChatGPT will provide you a template. So the robot will interact with this template, extract the template, then complete, uh, complete everything with um, your data, with your name and the uh, company name and so on, number of months, years, this stuff. And after uh, uh, completing this stuff, he will send the email, yeah? So creating this template, ChatGPT is very good on all this stuff. So simple example, it's how to create a template and the robot modify all this stuff and send the template. Next, the second example with uh, using ChatGPT will be translating text. Yeah. So translating text to ChatGPT is very simple. You provide him an, um, uh, uh, provide him the language that uh, you want to transfer, and the text that you want to transfer. So in my case here, um, I have uh, my bad. I click on this one. So translate to, uh, to Spanish, the quick brown fox jumps to the lazy dog, yeah? So in your case, from HTTP request, you send the, uh, the, the text to ChatGPT and this will be able to translate the text and go further. But be very careful, the rules with ChatGPT, that the, the, the data that you transfer, you don't know what um, uh, uh, OpenAI or Microsoft do with this data. So be very careful how you manage your data and um, how you are you are able to uh, to control your data. I just teach you how to approach this stuff, yeah? And you have this um, uh, example in, in the video with uh, LinkedIn and also with the um, email, with translation on, on ChatGPT. Good. Next thing that you can do with ChatGPT. Next thing that you can do with ChatGPT is analyze text sentiments and positive and negative uh, mixed. So let's... See an example here. So basically, I provide, uh, I ask uh, ChatGPT to identify the, the feedback, a type of feedback, if it's negative, positive, mixed, or invalid, you see? And I provide him all this, um, all this sentence. And based on all the sentence, he's able to, uh, uh, to give me back this stuff. So from the robot, uh, you, will, you, will send <coughs> you will send this comment to ChatGPT. And then you will analyze the data. And based on this analyze, you will make decision and you go further with automation. You have um, here examples on, on, the, on this video with um, um, how to use it for satisfaction of the customer, how to um, do satisfaction. And you have also in these used cases, yeah? Good. So this is another version. Then ChatGPT can provide you a grade. So you ask him about a grade from 1 to 10. From a text. For example, you have here two examples. Examples of um, level of English and example how has satisfied it's a, it's a customer for decision. So let's see. Here, uh, basically, you have... Um, I have a data from uh, LinkedIn from a colleague. And I ask him, uh, um, I ask him, this is my job requirement. Can you give me a grade for the, uh, for the candidate? And Chad, I provide him all the data from LinkedIn. And you see ChatGPT was able to give a grade for each, each type of um, 
each type of requirement they have, and you have also an overall grade. grade. So the robot will go extract this overall grade and take a decision if the uh, the, uh, the the custom uh, the the CV is good or not for this one. So this is another way to analyze text and make decision on the text and use it inside of the robot. Yeah. So the robot will be able to prelocate this text and make decision based on this one. Yeah. Again, be very careful with your customer data. How it's uh, you are able to send it. It's your private data. It's not private data. This is your uh, uh, way to approach. Now, uh, we said that we can do this also for uh, for um, um, level of English. So let's say that you have uh, the, the LinkedIn description for or of someone. You provide him the uh, the description. And you ask him, what is the uh, level of English? And the level of English, based on the analysis of the text, it's 8 from 10, yeah? And with this, you can go further and say, okay, I'll make a decision based on um, uh, on this one. Good. Next thing that you can implement with ChatGPT. ChatGPT can tag a text with the list of predefined tags, yeah? So, basically, when you... Uh, um, when you ask him, you will provide him multiple uh, multiple text, and you provide him also the tags that uh, that you want. So let's see the example here to understand how how we approach this stuff. So you can see here that I have uh, um, so I have when I ask him, I say tag the sentence with the three categories of tags: financial, school, and medicine. And I have three sentences, and based on this sentence, he's able to. Uh, uh, to identify that um, uh, first, it's a financial. It's a sentence from financial. The second one, it's a, a uh, second one. It's from school, and uh, the third one is for medicine. Yeah. So uh, this is another thing that you are not able to do it very fast with with a robot, with a normal UiPath robot. How you search for this stuff? So he's able to put this on the context. So he will provide you a context for the um, for the system, and based on this context, you can go further with with the requirement to forward the email or forward the uh, the text to the the special um, department. Yeah. So this is another way. Provide him categories, and he will group the uh, he will tag the uh, the the sentence inside of categories. Good. Now let's go to the next one. The next thing that you can do with ChatGPT and your iPad robots. It's formatting the data that you give in, in unstructured data. So you give some unstructured data and you will be able to create a, a, a structured data. So what's the idea? Here you will provide, for example, you extract with, um, um, with your iPad. You extract a, a, um, a table from a PDF and you provide him the raw data. The raw data is like this, it's not formatted. So you provide it to ChatGPT, and ChatGPT will be able to format data. Yeah, so he will be able to to format the data as a table. In case of your iPad, you have this example where you have 50, uh, 50 use cases on how to convert PDF to uh, uh, to to Excel with ChatGPT. So basically, it's able to format the the data for you and so on. Be careful here; the data is not regular, so it's not just changing some spaces to be able to. To make um, a table from uh, from this raw data, the rate, the data is variable, and so, so that's why ChatGPT has to make some analysis to be able to create this table from the data. Good. Let's go further and let's talk about the next one. The next one is extracting specific data from unstructured format. Yeah. So on this one with uh, with um, um, with unstructured format, basically you provide him again with your iPad, you extract the data from PDF. Um, and uh, uh, you have this um, um, this unstructured data. And from this unstructured data, you want to get the total amount, yeah? So if you ask him uh, uh, what is the total uh, from this invoice, he will find and provide you the total from the invoice. So then the UiPath can can take this data and go further with um, uh, with the decision. So this is an example of extracting data from an unstructured system. Then. Let's go. Uh, uh, let's go further. Put him to make decisions that are uh, easy to define. Uh, that are uh, are not easy to define with mathematics. So, what language they speak in Berlin? Answer is German. Yeah. So you just have. Let's say uh, uh, um, you have you have Berlin as a location of a, of a person. 
And uh, how the robot will know on what um, uh, on what language he has to talk with the with the person? So asking ChatGPT, ChatGPT can provide you that normally in uh, stuff. Usually in Berlin, they will speak German, and this will go further. You have all this example on the uh, on this part with uh, with LinkedIn and also on the email, on with LinkedIn. So here you will see that the, the robot is able to identify the location where the where the person uh, place, and he will talk with the person in the exact um, uh, in the exact um, language. So you need to think about um, decisions that um, are not um, easy to implement in the mathematics and the logic, and the robot has to do it. So from here, from Berlin, he's able to convert to German. Very simple, yeah, using ChatGPT. Let's go to the next one. And the next one, it's a particular stuff. So if the robot will need to analyze the, the text and so on, and instead of the text, um, we'll find something with um, um, creating a schedule that will, will set to a system and so on, uh, you can use um, uh, ChatGPT to copy the text, put the text there, and the um, ChatGPT will generate you an, um, a cron expression. So, for example, let's say that um, we have um, a text uh, like this. So, you have the text that uh, you want to um, to schedule an, um, a system to work um, each working day from uh, 5 p.m., uh, you just prom provide the prompt to ChatGPT with um, give me a cron expression, and the robot will be able to extract this part and provide this uh, uh, this part to the uh, um, to another system and go further. So this is a really particular case, but um, you can trust him to do this stuff. For example, also it's working also with SQL, but. Probably you need to have a context where the uh, the data should be defined uh, very well. I mean, um, you need to find in a document or somewhere when you get a command to look. I want to extract from the contacts the name and the ID from the all the people that start with letter A. So, giving him all the context, um, the ChatGPT will be able to write the correct uh, SQL. But uh, if it doesn't have all the context, will uh, will not be able to write this stuff. So that's why I give the example with cron, because on cron, on cron, it's um, um, it's clear that will generate this one. So the robot will be able to copy this one and so on. And the last one, uh, you can use ChatGPT to answer uh, to generate an answer to unknown by the your robot. So let's say that um, your robot has. Um, uh, like in this video, you have uh, different templates. So he's able to uh, answer to the CFO, CM, uh, CEO, uh, chief product officer, and so on. But he's not able to uh, to contact the uh, the chief marketing officer. So if he doesn't have an um, doesn't have an uh, a template for this, he's able to to, to uh, create this template with uh, with ChatGPT. Yeah? So he's able to. Uh, to create the template with uh, with ChatGPT, so that's why I say that the last case it's to you can use ChatGPT to generate uh, a content that a content that is not um, already predefined inside of your robot. So these are the ten use cases that I see with uh, ChatGPT working with the uh, UiPath robots. You have for all these use cases, you have um, uh, videos here with um, uh, with details on all these uh, use cases. You have the video with API, and remember that you have also the video for the UAPI developers, how UAPI developers can work with uh, ChatGPT. If you have any other ideas with ChatGPT, and if you want uh, me to implement other stuff with uh, with ChatGPT, please uh, contact me, uh, write me uh, comments on the videos, subscribe ch to my channel, and I'll try to implement this stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye.